next, Daniel's friendly rival, Thomas Stillings. He's a 22-year-old parkour instructor out of San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, I love his style. Look at him once again rocking the genie pants. That's become his trademark look this season, and they're red to denote he competed in Oklahoma City. Not to mention, he was the fastest in qualifying there, and he's off to a quick start tonight. Well, he gives a lot of credit for his success this year to his fiance Zoe. She's not here tonight, but some of his yeah, Texas bro. training partners are. Well, he's a speed demon, but as we've seen, speed can kill on the giant log group. There you go. Taking a conservative approach, waiting until the log settles over the pad, but it keeps him dry. And he's going right to the jumping spider. And he sticks it. Too much wind going down that alley in between those pants. There you go, right through the jumping spider. And Stillings is flying, capable of speed. And there's Daniel Gill back to watch his friend run. Good job. You got it. Stillings bested him in qualifying. Gill bested him in the finals. A little hung up on the rope. No way. Hanging on. No oh, a little hiccup, but he's just sprinting through this course. He's going after Daniel Gill's time. And right up the warp wall. And right now, he's got a good shot to beat Gill's time. All right, come here on the, oh, oh, on a hard impact. Looks like he's holding that knee, and he is grimacing. Uh -oh, uh -oh. He looks like he could be hurt, Akbar. But he got up quickly. Still could get the fastest time. Nice. Well, the good news is he can survive using that upper body, but this may not bode well for stage two. Flying squirrel, those pants look like he's a flying squirrel, doesn't it? Well, Thomas Stillings is making a statement, not just with the pants. This course has been crushing veterans all night, but the sophomore sensation is going to finish with over 30 seconds to spare, beating Daniel Gill's time. As Thomas Stillings, for the second year in a row, is going to stage two. That was impressive. Watch this again. As he goes across the broken bridge, he skips right over the fifth step, and he falls knee first on that last step. He hit hard, but still managed to save himself and put up the fastest time of the night.